What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Makai back in the building. Feel me? Now, today, we're going to do another Larry Bird video. But I was kind of curious. You know, a lot of guys were saying, you know, that Michael Jordan never really beat Larry Bird in his prime um, in the 80s. And even in the 90s, when Jordan actually got Scottie Pippen, he could not stop Larry Bird. So I want to know, how did Scottie Pippen do against Larry Bird? Because realistically speaking, I probably would have put Scottie Pippen on Larry Bird for size. Because, you know, Scottie Pippen is taller than Michael Jordan. So I would have put Scottie Pippen on, on uh, Larry Bird. But we're going to see in this video how we did. If you guys like what I'm doing, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. For the top, he plays him behind. He gets the ball. Your job is over, buddy. Bird for two. Celtics lead with 3.6 seconds. Throws it away into the hands of Pippen, and it's a three-on-one. Hey. The 1980s were the toughest time in NBA history. You had some of the greatest rivalries ever. Many included not only the Celtics, but also Larry Bird. There were actually so many that most of them got forgotten. Or who do you know who still talks about the Larry Bird versus Marcus Johnson rivalry? Or Larry Bird versus Dominic Wilkins? By the way, working on a video on that, the Celtics were the team to beat in the Eastern Conference. And many teams just wanted to beat Larry so bad. Because Larry also would let you know how good he was. He became the target of almost everybody. Bro, falling on a on a pump fake is crazy. But if you guys want me to do the um the Detroit Pistons uh video, I want to do a video on Detroit Pistons. If you guys want to see that, I'll definitely do that video. Just let me know in the comment section. But while the Celtics were dominating the East and were just about to be defeated by Detroit, there was a sleeping giant called the Chicago Bulls. Man, back in the days, you had so many dangerous teams. It's unbelievable. Now, we all know that the 1980s had some of the greatest rivalries in NBA history. I'm talking about the Celtics Lakers, the Pistons Bulls, the Celtics Pistons, but nobody talks about the Celtics Bulls rivalry. Yes, while Michael Jordan was the clear superstar of the Bulls and the rivalry between Jordan and Bird was obvious, the even more interesting rivalry was between Scottie Pippen and Bird, since Scottie would guard Bird for the majority of their matchups. As we all know, Pippen was considered to be one of the best defenders of all time, but even in his early days, he already got the task to guard the key player of the opposing team. Just like he did in the 1991 NBA Finals between the Lakers and the Bulls, where Pippen guarded Magic like nobody else has ever done. When I tell you that series in uh, 91, it was a masterclass on how Scottie Pippen guarded um, Magic Johnson. <sighs> Tough. Going into the Lakers series, Phil had in his pocket the strategy that, look, I've got Pippen, who really plays point guard for us, point forward, uh, runs the offense, and we'll put him on Magic at some point. We went to it in game two, and it made all the difference in changing the Lakers' offense. Michael had picked up two fouls early, and so it became necessary. And one of the things that Scotty did was he, you know, on dead ball, he'd pick him up in the backcourt, he'd make Magic work. And Magic was good, he wasn't going to turn it over a lot, you know, but he made him work to get the ball up the floor. I knew that I could cause him a lot of problems. I watched Magic my whole career and even before my career, so I knew the style of player he was and I knew what I could do to prohibit him from being as effective on the basketball court as he had been throughout his career. However, this kind of confidence was something that Scotty had to build. And it all started in the year 1988 when the Chicago Bulls and the Celtics would face each other and a young rookie named Scotty Pippen would receive not too many minutes. But once he stepped on the floor, he got the job to guard the multiple MVP, Larry Bird. Good pass. Good pass. And even though rookie Scottie Pippen had some nice highlights, at the end, Larry Bird would destroy him, dropping 38 points. 
The second game also would not turn out too well for Scotty, since Bird dropped 33 points on him, but every match Scotty Pippen got better and better and better. And then there was his classic performance. It was the 4th of November in 1989, and Bird and Pippen would have an epic battle. The matchups tonight, probably this way. Pippen and Bird, Pinckney and Grant, Parrish and Cartwright, Bagley and Paxson, and Paxson and Jordan. 10 for 17, Pippen from the outside. Scotty Pippen's first two tonight. Crossed him on occasion on the offensive glass. Pippen the pull-up. Larry's game that night. Now let's have a closer look at the numbers. Now Larry Bird had 27, Scottie Pippen had 28, so very good scoring night for the both of them. But the first big difference you can see in the turnovers, Larry Bird had seven turnovers that game, and three of them was actually a steal by Scottie. So hold on, y'all, hold on. I got some Larry Bird fans in the comment section. You let me know what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? good Pippen on the other hand had only two turnovers which is very good considering the many touches he had and if we take a closer look on the rebounds and assists you can see Larry Bird was a little bit better but Scotty also had decent numbers both of them shooting 50 plus percent from the field so also very good so both of them had a very good game and as I already mentioned that was the first time that Scotty could really match Larry from that game onwards now it was really a battle the two would really go at it and while Bird's back was getting worse and worse and he got slow Pippen gained more confidence over the years and became an NBA All-Star. This would be one of the most interesting matchups over the next two years. Over the top, he plays him behind. He gets the ball. Your job is over, buddy. Bird for two. Celtics lead with 3.6 seconds. matchups were really incredible now let's have a look at their overall numbers and their matchups now as you can see Pippen and Bird played 14 regular season games against each other eight of those games went to the Chicago Bulls six to the Boston Celtics now when, when was this though hold on I think I might have missed it I might have missed that to take a closer look at the numbers, you can see that Bird had better numbers, but Pippen was definitely able to compete, which is more than you can ask for if we remember that Pippen also had those rookie games. The one stat that is outstanding to me is the shooting percentage. We can't forget that Bird was a lot older and unfortunately also retired in the year 1992, so that's the reason why we only got 14 regular season games, but it was great to have them. And Pippen always had a lot of respect for Bird. Now to get the opportunity to go spend a summer with them and learn from them and you know, see what their their habits were and what they did in the summertime was 
it was the greatest thing. I mean, you've been to plenty of All-Star games before, but this is different. It was totally different. I mean, I've hung out with Michael, but to have Larry there. Who would you, like, who were the ones, like, whether they were good at it or not, but who were the ones that were just keeping Gabber the whole time? Um, I mean, Gary Payton talked a lot. <laughs> but in my era, probably was Larry Bird. In conclusion, they had some really great matchups, but Larry Bird, uh, I, I he probably got the best of them. But um, Larry Bird probably got the, you know, he won the matchup. But um, I, I would, I would definitely think like for the Bulls, if you were to put somebody on Larry Bird, it would be Scottie Pippen, just off of a size alone, not because of the intangibles of what he can and cannot do. You give, you give Scottie Pippen um, that uh, assignment. And then, you know, Jordan is Jordan, you know. So, um, much respect to both players, Scottie Pippen and Larry Bird. Even though Scottie Pippen has been talking off the side of his neck lately. And I don't like that. But um, much respect to both players. Um, I got my answer. Bird Bird was better. Um, and, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, man, I'm going to catch y'all.